guys showing you guys how to install on um, the capacitor what I did was I bolted the capacitor on the side of the um the subwoofer box um so basically I'm going to explain how to run the wiring from the capacitor to the amp so what I did was I had four gauge wire running from the front of the car so I, what I did was um the amp the amp is grounded off on a different ground point than the actual capacitor but i heard a lot of people say it's okay to ground it off on the same point you know like if you're gonna ground off you know the amps ground wire if you're gonna ground that off with the the capacitor same ground wire you can ground it off on the same ground point but i didn't do that i grounded the amp at a different ground point way in the back and i grounded this one off right here on a piece of metal under this under this carpet um all right, so what I'm going to explain to you is how I did um, how to wire a, a capacitor to to connect to your amp in order to, you know, make the box kick harder. Some people says the capacitor doesn't do anything, but I noticed this as soon as I installed the capacitor that it made a huge difference and the bass sounded clearer and the bass was stronger. Some people say it don't do nothing. I say otherwise. It helped me. It helped um, because I felt like, you know, the car was kind of losing a little power because, you know, the box was taking so many watts from the um, so from the car. So, you know, these TLs, they take a lot of electricity. So what I did was I added a capacitor to it to store some electricity. So when the base kicks in, the, the light, the voltage shows here on the side when the base kicks in. Whenever it's taking base, because some capacitors, they don't show anything, because this one, it doesn't show anything on the screen until the base hits hard, and then it shows the voltage here on the side. So if you get a capacitor and it doesn't show anything on the screen, and um, the music is on, don't get worried. It might still work. You just have to turn the bass up and see if, you know, the light turns on. Once the light turns on, you'll see it. But some stay on all the time, but mine's is if the screen stays blank until the bass hits hard and then it, it comes on. I'm gonna show you guys in a second what I mean. Um, so basically what I did was the power wire from the battery the power wire from the battery goes to here to the positive terminal on the capacitor and then you run another four gauge wire from the from what's running from the front of the car to the battery you run it to here to the capacitor on the positive side of the battery then you run another wire from the positive side of the capacitor to the amp to the positive side of the amp the power wire the power part then you just ground this off on a ground point in the car which I did here which yeah well which I did down here grounded it off on a piece of metal down here I scraped off the metal the, the coating on it and got to touch the metal on the bottom and then um I put some tape around the top because me I'm an electrical type person and I like to put tape around things so nothing don't catch on fire or anything like that but um that's it you just ground the capacitor down you run the power wire from the battery to the capacitor then you run another wire from the capacitor to the amp and you ground off the amp at a different ground point or the same ground point and that's it and i'm gonna um turn on the car and uh turn on the radio and let you guys know what i'm talking about turn the car i'm sorry Turn on the radio. I need some gas in this. Put some gas in there. Turn the radio on. Well, the USB. Turn the bass up. Hey, this my new shit. I'm the black bitchy bitch with the roof missing. If it don't make dollars, don't make sense. Wake up, like I gotta get it. I gotta get it for a true space. I get money free. Feel free to ask. 
you have any needs or any for any videos or anything like that, show me how show you guys how to do anything, just let me know. Alright, bye.